10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... Hi, I'm Jeremiah. And I'm Jeff. This is episode 174 of the Magnolia Clubhouse with the report. And the last one, the after Christmas, speaking of which, why are we at the North Pole of all places? We're here to get some Christmas goodies from Santa Sop. Yeah. You want more presents after Christmas? Whatever. Let's start out with our top story. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew and we have a special guest on our weekly report. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm State Representative Bride Rose Sweeney. Mm, thank you for introducing yourself. Of course. Right. Um, we're very excited about your visit. So, can you tell us about what you think of our clubhouse so far? Um, I am truly blown away. The amount of community and passion um, mm -hmm. and I think uh, the spirit of this place is truly remarkable and I uh, want to do everything I can to be helpful to you guys. Thank you so much, Bride. As a matter of fact, your work as a member of the Ohio State, well, Ohio House of Representatives is very important and we appreciate your support on the Capitol request. So in your own words, can you tell us why it, you think it's important for support for the mental health community? Because everyone uh, deserves to have a place uh, where they belong, where they feel that they can have a community, mm -hmm. and especially uh, those with behavioral health, um, you know, issues or concerns. Um, you know, this is a place I want to hang out in, and I we'll think everyone know. deserves to have that. And I think the state, or I know that there's more that the state can do to be helpful uh, to you guys and the work that you're doing. Mm, good to know. Thank you for all you do. So, is there anything else you would like to say for our community? I just wanted to say thank you for having me and mm -hmm. thank you for being advocates. Um, you've truly uh, really moved me and you have my commitment that I'm going to be helpful and I hope you know that your voices are important, your advocacy on behalf of the issues that you care about and I hope you reach out anytime to me and your lawmakers because we work for you guys. Thank you so much, Bride. Thank you for your time. All right, everyone, I'm Matthew. That was it for Ohio Representative Bride Sweeney. And now back to more Maine Magnolia News. Thank you. Great top story. Yeah, but it's freezing up here. Let's warm up with that report from membership. Greetings. Greetings. We, we hope everyone, everyone is enjoying their holiday season and we want to wish, wish everyone a happy new year. year. Thanks for tuning in to this week's employment broadcast. I am Mr. Happy Holiday Jeremiah, and with me is my sidekick, the Red Nosed in Asia. I'm excited to be here for this update. Please keep in mind that the clubhouse is looking forward to working with the City of Cleveland to develop future transitional employment opportunities. This is exciting news. In other news, we want to share a relevant resource involving the City of Cleveland. The city will be conducting a hiring event to fill positions in various departments. The event will be held on January 12th at 3 p.m. in the City Hall. For more information, please see membership. Let's transition to our next topic. We would like to inform everyone that Legal Aid will return to the clubhouse and present on workplace rights as this has been a hot topic for our members. For example, understanding the basic concept of when to take a break on the job is one of many topics included. The session will happen on January 23rd, Tuesday at 2 p.m. A sign-up sheet will be available. A big shout out to Legal Aid team for this wonderful presentation. Just a reminder for all the members, the employment education meeting is held every Tuesday at 2 p.m. on membership. Please attend this meeting if you have a desire to find employment or go back to school. Please talk to your staff or see membership. New Year, New Me, and I encourage everyone to follow suit. See you next time for our segment. Peace. Great membership report. Thank you. Say, aren't there supposed to be penguins up here? 
No. Penguins are at the South Pole. Up here we have... Polar bears. Let's run over to the Friday fun day theme. Hello everyone. I'm Matthew and I'm here to tell you the very last Friday fun day theme of this year. Before we move on to 2024 folks, we have to remember what made 2023 fun. Let's look back with your favorite memories. So before you write your New Year's resolution, come on upstairs on Friday and tell us what your favorite highlights and memorable moments were this year. See you in 2024, later. Thanks, Matthew. Well, I better keep that in mind. If we don't get frozen, frozen up here first. Now, now that we lost the polar bears, What's up with the social events this week? On Sunday, December the 31st, we will be having New Year's Evening Brunch. Not for sure what's on the menu, but it will be from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. But wait, there's more. On January 1st, we will be having pork and sauerkraut. The festivities start at 10 a.m. and finish at 2 p.m. Please schedule your rides accordingly for the both events. And don't forget to sign up on the hospitality unit. It is a must because we want to, everyone to, have, to enjoy their food. Hope to see you there. Be there, be square. Bye. Christmas lights sounds like a bright idea to me. Thanks, Patrick. Make makes me more excited to be up here. I think we finally found Santa's workshop. Ah, uh, humbug. Was it really worth it? Of course. What's the health topics this week? Hi, I'm Sonya with two more facts about diabetes. Fact number one, diabetes can cause a lot of emotions. It's common for people with diabetes to feel angry, depressed, or anxious. After all, it can be stressful to test your blood glucose several times a day. Monitor what you eat and give yourself insulin shots or take medication every single day. It's easy to feel different and deny the diabetes exists and it's easy to feel out of control, especially if your blood glucose level isn't where you like it to be. Try and talk honestly and openly about how you feel with those around you. Fact number two, it takes to adjust to having diabetes. If you or someone you love has just been diagnosed with diabetes, realize that adjustment takes time. After all, it takes a lot of finger pricking, blood testing, shock giving, and self monitoring to reach and retain normal blood glucose levels over time. It also takes patience. Uh, many factors come into play, including what you eat, how much you eat, and how much you exercise, what time you take your medication or insulin stress and sickness. Thanks for the health topic. Sonia, isn't it great that we're in a toy factory now? Yeah, finally. Yeah, let's hope our, the elves don't kick us out. Let's see what's going on in the kitchen. Hospitality, what's cooking? Good afternoon, Magnolia Clubhouse. I'm Gina, and I hope that you had a great holiday. I will be, I will be bringing you this week's menu. Today, we will enjoy leftovers from Christmas Day. Thursday will be tuna over rice. And Friday, on Friday, we will enjoy chili. 
Sunday is over our annual New Year's Eve brunch. Please be sure to sign up on the hospitality unit. Magnolia Clubhouse will be open from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. schedule your rides accordingly. New Year's Day, we will have pork and sauerkraut. Once again, please sign up on the hospitality unit. Magnolia Clubhouse will be open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. New Year's Day. Remember to schedule your rides accordingly. Tuesday, January the 2nd, Magnolia Clubhouse will be closed. Happy, have a happy New Year's. Happy New Year's, everybody. Great menu as always. Sounds tasty. Thanks, hospitality. Yeah, just looking at all these gingerbread houses up here is giving me cavities. Paul, read us the standard this week. Hello, I'm Paul and I'm bringing you standard number 25. The clubhouse assists members to reach their vocational and educational goals by helping them take advantage of educational opportunities in the community. When the clubhouse also provides an in-house education program, it significantly utilizes the teaching and tutoring skills of members. Discuss this in your unit meeting. Thanks, Paul. Hmm. I wonder what Santa is. Good question. But let's look at, let's not get caught up here and let's take a look at this week's weather. Hi, my name is Sean. This is your weather report. Partly cloudy throughout the week and the rain showers overall. The highs will be in the 40s and the lows in the 30s this week. So stay warm. Happy holidays. I'm Sean. That was it for your your weekly weather report, and now back to more main Magnolia news. Isn't winter just wonderful? How about no? <laughs> make me make me want to scream. But before I do, let's. What's the shout out of for the week? Hi, I'm Ari, and I wanted to do a shout out for Anthony and Chuck for getting my headphones out of the. I guess you could say the window next to um, the shop. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great job, Zeta. Let's tune in to sports and hear the latest from the 321 guys. Hi, my name is DJ. I'm doing a City Tree Christmas po pose. What you do is sit down and you move your leg like this, and then you raise your hands like this, and that's Christmas Tree pose. Then we do the other side the same way that's the Christmas tree Browns inch closer to a playoff spot and Cavs with their third straight win hello everyone welcome to another edition of Magnolia Clubhouse Sports Report along with Scotty the Elf over here I'm Gandalf the Grey moving on to the NFL where the Cleveland Browns are inching closer to the playoffs Scott despite their their last second victory over the Chicago Bears last Sunday at Cleveland Browns Stadium which put the Browns at 9 and 5 the Browns still need to continue winning to qualify with the playoffs with only three games left in the regular yes, season. Yes, indeed they do. And they take on the Houston Texans this week at Brown Stadium. And Joe Flacco will once again get the start for the Browns. And Case Keenum will be starting in place of injured rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud, who remains in concussion protocol and is likely to not play this Sunday now, if the Browns, who are 9-5, can get the win, they can clinch a playoff spot. Uh, and the, with just two games after that remaining in the regular season, the Browns would like to win out these last games because they could go to 12-5, and, and that can really clinch them a playoff spot. And 
Yeah. Kickoff is at 1 p.m. on CBS 19, but they really need to not have so many turnovers there. Yeah, like uh, they but did. Scott, even with the win, even with the win, uh, if they defeat Houston, which by the way, that game will be played in Houston, not at Cleveland. Though. Yeah, it's at know. Houston. Happy and prosperous New Year as we go into 2024. And as I always say, always remember, be a team player each and every day, in every way possible. So long, everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And three, three two, two, one. one. We're yeah. done. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Let's hear the croak, Chris. The best way to make your dreams come true is to wake up. Paul Valerie French poet. Thank you. Great quote. Can we please go home now? We, we have a new staff working with us. Let's welcome a Dante. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Ron and View. I'm Ron. Today we're here with a new member of the Clubhouse family. Please introduce yourself. I'm a Dante. Uh, Dante, so tell us, how did you find out about the Clubhouse? Uh, so I was looking for uh, different opportunities in the community and I stumbled upon the clubhouse and I loved it ever since I was introduced to it. Okay, so what do you like about the clubhouse? I love that uh, the side-by-side -side model, working with members of the community with mental illnesses um, and being a helper. Okay, and what unit are you on? As of right now, I am still uh, Taking between two units, I'll either be working in communications or working in hospitality. Okay, so I can just tell you I'm biased. You know, communications is way better, but that's me because I'm biased. But um, so, uh, what is your background in? So I have a background in psychology. I have my bachelor's degree, um, mm -hmm. and I also have experience working with uh, foster youth, children, and family uh, with Cuyahoga County. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to say to the Clubhouse family uh, before we wrap up? I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm learning and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Okay, now if you look up under your seat, there are some car keys uh, for, for a brand new car. Don't <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, <clears throat> thank you everyone for tuning in around with you. Never stop learning, have a great day. Bye everyone. Welcome aboard, Adante. Last but not least, let's let's shout out the rest of our birthdays for the month. Happy birthday to our following people. Tamika, Andrew, Sarah, Michael, Sabrina, Michael M, Geneva. From December 24th to December 31st, Natalie, our sports guy Scott, Elaine, Cathal, Deshaun, Carla, Christy, Sherry, yay, Patricia, and Bertha. That's all for the birthdays. Happy birthday, everyone. That is all for this week. The communications unit, which produces this news program, thanks all contributors and encourage you to come up and join us if you are interested in participating. Be sure to check out Manoia Clubhouse's Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. If, if you enjoyed what you've seen this week, then be sure to like this video and consider subscribing to our channel. And please share these videos and pages with others. MagnoliaClubhouse.org is our official website. We maintain a presence on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Now, now I've seen, seen it all, do I really have to go back home? We better get home before we get a lump of coal in our stocking. In your stocking. <laughs> I'm Jeff. And I'm Jeremiah. See, See you, you next, next year, year in 2024. 2024.
if you're living with mental illness, join the club.